Hey. Welcome, Allison. Let's introduce our guest here. So I have Allison um, McCaughey. Did I say your last name correctly? McCaughey, yeah. McCaughey <laughs> on with me. And he is a movement instructor. Um, and do you want to explain a little bit about, I guess, your background and um, tell me why you believe strongly that movement is important? Yeah, for sure. So I've been um, kind of dancing and doing different movement practices for basically my whole life um, since about, you know, three years old or something. But um, I um, am a professional dancer and I'm in the theater world. And um, throughout my career, I've used or studied very different movement modalities to um enhance my own professional career, but also just to sort of keep my own spirit alive and well. And um, through the years, I have kind of developed my own way of instructing by taking um, little bits of information from different modalities. And I've created my own movement practice. Um, and it's really about wellness um, and really connecting with the body as opposed to um, you know, doing the typical five, six, seven, eight that you may imagine most dancers are accustomed to. Um, that's really great for discipline and structure and the athleticism of being a dancer. But um, for me, the more important journey is um, the real connection with one's body. And I have, yeah, developed my own practice and um, I share this with other people and it's, mm -hmm a whole bunch of different modalities kind of woven into one. Yeah, I've um, had the chance to do a class with Allison before, and that's why I wanted to have her on. So these Friday sessions, these short little movement practices or breath work or reflexology or acupressure, really at the core, it's all about getting us to connect with our body um, and find that center and balance that happens by taking a moment to take care of ourselves um, and do some intentional movement and care. And I feel that that comes through so strongly with your particular style of teaching. Like it's really not, um, you know, like your classic gym workout where it's just these repetitive movements and you kind of have to push through there's such a joy and a flow to how you instruct movement. So I'm really excited to have you bring some of that in here for um, our session today. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, I always just like to approach everything with joy and a bit of laughter as well. Because um, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be that serious. <laughs> um, and it really is accessible for every body and every person and every ability. Um, and I just want to say that um, as much as I uh, agree with um, the flow and the ebb and the flow of things, I also do like to dig in sometimes and I get, I like to push um, people to their personal limits um, so we dig in a little bit and then we, so we always have the yin and the yang, like the warrior energy and then the really um, fluid sort of movement that is really, really connected with that. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to say like the divine feminine or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Yeah. So I'm just, yes. yeah. That's just to expand on what you, you talked about a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. so do you want to get going on some stuff here? Let's Let's do it. Um, yeah, let's get some, some Friday movement going and... Um, okay. Yeah. I think we'll start uh, in the chair just to see if, if there are people watching that are um, just sort of working from a desk right now. Um, this is just to kind of open up. Um, so we're going to take your hands and clasp your hands together and put your hands behind your head. And this is just to give your body, like I'm sure most of us are like this all day long. So you're gonna actually push your head right into your arms. So you're pushing into these back muscles here and you're really stretching them. So this is a really active thing. 
your jaw and your neck are released, but you're pushing the back of your head into your arms. Taking a nice deep breath and release and relax and just kind of cave it in and stretch that spine out and really concave everything. So your, your whole spine is releasing. And then we're gonna come back into a neutral spine here and then push your hands in, sorry, your head into your hands again. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. And one more stretch forward, release, breath out. And coming back to neutral and just releasing those arms to the side and just feeling the length already probably in your head and your neck and your shoulders. Um, okay, so now get your hands onto your, um, you can hold onto the chair if you want, or you can hold onto your, your thighs. And we're just going to slightly move forward and back. So in and out. So breath in through the nose and out through the, through the mouth. Really sticking that chest out and not forgetting um, to take that breath. And through this movement, you can start to speed up if it feels really good. So just ground your feet into the ground and um, really focus. You can even kind of have your eyes at like just a bit of a gaze, but you can get into a little bit of a rhythm here. And these exercises are all meant um, for if you're just in the privacy of your office and you don't wanna make a huge fuss, but you can kind of get into a little bit of a zone here um, on your own. Yeah, so just keep going. Four, three, two, and one. Good, and then just sitting in that neutral space again and feeling the spine. Just sort of imagining the spine is like floating um, in space. So it's not grounded and anchored into anything. It's very liquidy. And just sort of imagining yourself drawing up from the top of your head and imagining your, sp your spine just floating in space. So you're not holding on to anything too rigidly. And now we're just gonna do circles around. So circle. Breath in when you come forward, breath out when you go back. So now imagining your ribs are like, um, moving around a plate. So your hips and your pelvis is the plate and you're sort of just circling around that plate. And you can really stick your chest out at the, at the, um, um, at the front of your chair. So including that breath. So in, out, in, out, in, out. I'm a little bit squeaky here with my chair, so pardon that noise. Good. And again, you can sort of get into your own rhythm here. This is just something nice where you can really just sort of focus in, really thinking about that pelvis and, and circling around that. Good. And then we're going to stop and we're going to go to the other side. So moving in the opposite direction, so forward and back. And keeping it moving, don't forget the breath. And if it's easier for you to just do um, breathing through your nose, that might be um, a little bit more effective for you. So. And make it audible if you can. So it's intentional as opposed to just something that you're doing in the background. Awesome. And then just coming to center, 
sitting on your chair. And again, just imagining that spine is, is really fluid. It's sort of floating. That's, that's the imagery that I want you to, um, to have. And also your neck. So you're not gripping onto anything. Your neck, your spine. Awesome. Now, I'm just gonna move a little bit further back here. Great, now take a big breath in. And I want you to reach all the way forward to the ground. Good, I'm gonna just place my phone a little bit further down, yep. So your hands are sort of, your legs are a little bit apart and you're coming all the way to the ground. And just relaxing over here and then rolling up. And then again, reaching up, big breath in and reaching forward. And rolling up and again. And forward, good. And rolling up, awesome. And then shoulders just rolling backwards. Shoulders rolling back and then rolling them forward. Good. Now, do I have time for two more exercises without the chair? Sure, let's do it. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna do a couple of things just to get you in motion a little bit. Um, get my head back in the, in the game here. Um, okay, so we're just gonna stand Oh jeez, my head's not. Um, here we go. <laughs> I have my little face here. Okay, <laughs> so we're just gonna take our arms and we're just gonna gently swing from side to side. So just kind of bending into those knees and swinging from side to side, and let those arms go. Try not to. I'm very close to a wall, so <laughs> I don't want to hit the wall. But try to really just let them go side to side. So you're really just feeling the air. And then from here, you can kind of just float wherever, wherever the wind takes you or the river, whatever imagery you want to use. So just whatever part of your body is begging for a little love, like my hips right now and my lower back. So I'm going to kind of dig right into that. But I want you to keep that um, imagery of being in a river or a wind, sort of light wind storm. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's just getting you into your body and showing it a little love where it needs to. All right, and then to end, we're gonna take, this is to get you into some some more power at the end here. We're just gonna take our arms up, breath in, and then we're gonna have our arms, here's our arms at the top, but a sumo squat, we're gonna like just sit right into it, yeah? And through that, you're gonna just basically chop wood. You're gonna go with a big breath out, and then breath in, yeah. One more. There you go. All right. So there's a little bit of that warrior energy. Um, I love doing that when I have something that I have to seriously focus on and I need a little bit of like, I need someone to cheer me on. I kind of do that just to give myself that cheering that I need or if I have something coming up or a big project or presentation or something. I love doing that one. And then if you really just wanna keep in that, the flow of that um, circular-like motion, um, just to really give the body some love, I love doing that as well. So those are just a couple of things to, you know, mm -hmm. to work with as, as you move forward on your movement journey. I really loved the, um, 
you know, that power moment at the end, especially since we're in the middle of our day. And I'm also like in a co-working session right now as well, where I'm supposed to be like focusing on a task and getting it done. Um, And I do, I feel more focused. I feel less like worried about all the pieces coming together and more like, all right, let's just like knock it out. Um, So I felt that was a a really good, good moment in there. So thank you so much, Allison. Thanks for hearing that with us. I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you Um, so much. Um, Yeah, I loved being on and I love the work that you do too. And I just really appreciate it. Give Allison some love in the comments too. Give us both a follow and I'll see you guys all next week.